Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Editors have independently selected all of the goods and services that are listed. On the other hand, Soaps.com might get paid a commission for orders made through its retail links, and the retailer might get some data that can be audited for bookkeeping purposes. Many seniors nationwide have already received their high school diplomas, and one with a connection to General Hospital has done so as well. The actress who portrayed Brooklyn Ray Silzer's on-screen mother, Robin, Robin, recently reconnected with her former co-star. Brooklyn Ray Silzer, who grew up before our eyes while portraying Emma, celebrated her class of 2024 graduation from Troy High School in Fullerton, California, this past May. My kid graduated from high school. Robin has a high school graduate, after all. Kimberly McCullough uploaded a picture of herself and Silzer. It is an honor for me to witness your growth and development. I adore you, honey, Silzer said in response. You're the sweetest. I'm so happy I got to grow up with you. I adore you very lot. Unbelievable, continued Finola Hughes, who plays Emma's grandma Anna and Robin's mother. The actress and model shared a photo of herself and her classmates from the graduation ceremony, smiling for the camera and raising their graduation caps in the air during the momentous occasion. This photo of McCullough and Silzer together isn't the only one from a recent reunion in Port Charles. Hughes posted a photo with her on-screen daughter at the end of June while she was visiting McCullough's partner, Robert Lyles White's art exhibit. Even though it's unlikely that Emma or Robin would return to the ABC serial opera anytime soon, we still wanted to congratulate Silzer. As she starts this new chapter in her life, we send her our warmest wishes. According to General Hospital teasers for Wednesday, July 3, Sasha Gilmore Corbin, who has experienced her fair share of scandals, will back Blaze, also known as Alison Ali Rogers, and Christina Corinthos Davis. Sasha will adamantly state that she wishes to share her hard-earned wisdom with Christina and Blaze, so she will undoubtedly have some insightful counsel. Lois Serralo will eventually have a suggestion as deception seeks to contain the damage. Ideally, her suggestion will help them find a way ahead following this media frenzy. Nina Reeves will also pay Maxie Jones a visit and maintain that she was unaware Adrian DeWitt was intending to release the recording and the scandalous narrative that went with it. Nina will guarantee that Adrian will take responsibility for his actions as she will be devastated by the fallout for Christina, Blaze, and all the others at deception. Naturally, Ava Jerome will encounter criticism now that Adrian has revealed her name to Alexis Davis. On Wednesday's Geek episode, Alexis will threaten Iva and try to make her feel uncomfortable. Additionally, Natalia Ramirez informed Sonny Corinthos that Ava was the one who surreptitiously recorded her and granted the invader access to the audio file. Sonny was enraged, but he didn't appear shocked by the information because he is aware of Ava's potential. Sonny will assure Natalia that Ava will never stop pushing the envelope, but he will undoubtedly become more and more committed to dealing with the issue she has turned into. Jocelyn Jacks will be offended by a confession made by Carly Spencer next. It appears that Carly will confess to the FBI about the recording that implicates Jason Morgan, which is being used as leverage. Jocelyn will be concerned about her mother's forecast and hold on to hope that Carly will stay free because Carly will acknowledge there's a very good chance she may end up in jail. Don't miss all the twists and turns because general hospital spoilers indicate that Carly and Jason have more FBI-related misadventures ahead of them. According to general hospital spoilers, Scott Scotty Baldwin has been enmeshed in this week's upheaval at Deception, but his on-screen persona has been preoccupied with some serious medical issues. Recently, Ken Schreiner posted a video of his actual hospital visit. He joked that it looked like Guillaume, and disclosed that he was there for another foot surgery. Valley Presbyterian, they're good, feels like at General Hospital in the old days. In his message on X, 
previously known as Twitter, Schreiner added. After a boating accident in June 2019, Schreiner had already undergone a foot-related procedure. Nevertheless, an additional surgery was now required. Thankfully, based on Schreiner's follow-up letter, which was released on July 2, everything appears to have gone smoothly. Now that he's discharged from the hospital, Schreiner is relaxing with some good movies and getting some rest. Day one got a knee scooter instead of a Vespa, but I can look at it. Day one got Netflix at team maybe watch Scotty on at General Hospital, stated Schreiner. Schreiner promised supporters in the accompanying video that he would be returning to his business in a few weeks, but in the meanwhile, he would be watching movies. Later, after Scott decided to represent Ava Jerome in the developing custody dispute with Sonny Corinthos, Kin Schreiner wrote about their recent exchanges. While some viewers are content for Scott and Ava to remain friends, others continue to support them as a relationship. In any case, a lot of fans prefer to call the pair Skava while they're together on television, but Schreiner believes they should go by something else. Now that Skava is back, maybe a new handle that doesn't sound like a rash is needed. Schreiner made a jest. It's comforting to know that despite his operation, Schreiner is a beast and still has his typical sense of humor. We all hope Schreiner heals quickly and send him our best wishes. Regarding the next events in Port Charles, Ava and Scotty will face challenges as they attempt to overcome Sonny and Diane Miller. Naturally, he spoilers suggest that Sonny might pursue Ava with less than honorable means, therefore. Keep checking back for updates on all the dirty tricks and forecasts of any further low blows. Teases about general hospital updates and teasers as Kirsten Storms practices martial arts. She carries a secret weapon. She refers to her hidden weapon as a beam of sunshine. Recently, Kirsten Storms of General Hospital shared some pictures of her interests outside of work. Harper Rose Barash, her small daughter, appeared a little miffed in one of the photos because she had to wait for her mother during a martial arts lesson. When pursuing hobbies, single mothers are required to include their children, and Harper didn't seem to be too happy about it this time. Harper, who played Stefan Dimer's character on Days of Our Lives and is Kirsten's daughter with her ex-husband Brandon Barash, was the first baby Georgie Spinelli on General Hospital. Art now imitates life thanks to Kirsten's character Maxie Jones, who is also a single mother. Kirsten Storms finds ways to keep herself busy when she's not giving Lucy Coe the scoop or juggling her romantic relationship with Damien Spinelli. Bradford Anderson, she recently posted on Instagram, saying, Check out my little ball of sunshine, to illustrate the effects of her days off from work on her daughter Harper. She's happy that I got her up early for a workout over summer vacation, she commented, attaching some photos. It may not be her best parenting choice, but she is undoubtedly giving Harper a good example. I've been working with him three to four times a week, and I love it so much that I run the risk of waking up a tired ten-year-old, she continued. I'm not sure which of the first two photos is my fave, or whether I should frame the last photo at Axie Cade Me, where it looks like I'm about to score against Zach. She continues. Zachary Krashinsky, a martial artist who studies under Professor Rodrigo Carvalho at AKXE Jiu Jitsu Academy in Agora Hills, California, is the Zach she alluded to. Her co star Finola Hughes remarked, You're looking good, girl, recognizing her hard work paying off. Support her, I totally get it. I have a moody 13-year-old who can shoot daggers with her eyes expressed empathy with Storm's troubles as a parent. Kids can be so sassy, right? Harper's expression screams, Just you wait, I'm going to act like I can't hear you all day long. Storm's clever response was totally on target. As one admirer put it, You're always fabulous and stunning adore you as Maxie on General Hospital. She summed up the feelings of many. I'm so happy to see you and Spinelli together again. The two of you are so magical. Make sure you read up on all that Guillet has been up to lately. For news, updates, and spoilers about General Hospital, check back here frequently.
So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.